team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. All right, if you're getting ready to head out to those football games tonight across the Contra Valley, it's going to be a hot one for us, and not just tonight, but as we go into our weekend as well. Here's what we're looking at. A heat advisory going to continue for us until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, 100 degree plus days ahead of us, so we're going to be talking about several more days where the thermometer gets above 100 degrees, and then we have a hot weekend in store, so it just doesn't end there for us, folks. And as we go into next week, there could be some relief in the form of a cold front. But let's get to our alerts right now. We've got a heat advisory in effect for all the counties here in the Contra Valley, every county in orange there. What we're expecting are temperatures in the afternoon from 103 to 107 on that thermometer. That's what we can expect. And that goes until 7 o'clock on Saturday. And we're going to be watching for our impact to be heat-related illnesses for people spending an extended amount of time out there in the sun, out there in the heat. So keep in mind, you're going to want to watch for the symptoms of heat stroke if you're spending quite a bit of time outside in the sun. The heat stroke is one of those things that you need to seek emergency medical help for. If you're having throbbing headaches, you're not sweating, rapid strong pulse, or losing consciousness, you need to call 911 and get medical help. If you have any of these symptoms of heat exhaustion, faint or dizzy feeling, rapid weak pulse, or muscle cramps, you can remedy that at home by cooling off in the shower, getting a cool compress, and cooling off inside. That's something that you can remedy at home. But watch for those symptoms over this weekend as temperatures are going to be fairly hot for us, and they're already hot out there at the airport. 105 feels like 103 with humidity at 18%. Winds out of the south at 9 miles per hour and fairly sunny conditions for us across the area here in Tom Green County. And as we take a look at the 100 plus degree days that we've had so far this month, the total comes to 14 after today. The year to date comes to 52. And look at that. We had a week long stretch of 100 plus degree days here in August. So we're expecting to add a few more of those as we go through the end of August here and into our weekend. Speaking of the weekend, you might want to grab some ice cream this weekend because it's going to be fairly hot for us. 105 on Saturday, 103 on Sunday with mostly sunny conditions. And we're still seeing mostly sunny conditions across the Lone Star State. Some showers and thunderstorms outside the Houston area and into portions of Louisiana and some severe storms and portions of North Alabama, but around here, things are dry for us. Not seeing anything on our local radar, just some cumulus clouds being picked up here in the green. That's what you're seeing are rows of cumulus clouds picked up by radar there. Our extended future cast as we go into the weekend, we're going to remain mostly dry and hot for us. Highs in the 100s as we go through the weekend. As we go into next week, here comes our cold front through the Lone Star State. This could provide lifting for showers and thunderstorms in the area as we go into Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and then after after that, we're talking about highs in the 90s, some days in the low 90s here in the Concho Valley. And as we go taking a look at that cold front, hot temperatures this weekend, 105 for Saturday, 104 on Sunday, still 103 on Monday. And then as we go into Wednesday, 93. But for tonight, we'll get down to 77 degrees with mostly clear conditions across the Concho Valley. Winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on our Saturday, 105, filling the heat for mostly sunny conditions winds out of the south southwest at five to ten miles per hour and as we take a look at the next five days here in the Concho Valley we're going to be filling the heat through the weekend into the beginning of next week and then that cold front comes through with a 30 percent chance of some isolated thunderstorms and much cooler temperatures as we go into the latter half of next week we'll be back with much more K